what's going on guys in today's video i'm gonna show you how to live stream on youtube and facebook at the same time either you're streaming in a facebook group or an actual facebook page this is gonna be possible and we're gonna be using obs and a cool plugin that we're gonna get for free so let's get right into it so right now i have obs open and i have my youtube channel already connected to obs again if you don't know how to do that i'm gonna send you to the other video showing you how to connect your youtube channel it's super super easy actually but, but other than that we also have two pages open we have one page from youtube that actually shows you all the settings that you need to live stream to youtube and we have another page open that shows you all the settings that you need to live stream to facebook we're gonna set that up in a minute okay back in obs of course i'm gonna leave a link down below for the plugin that you need to download okay so you want to make sure you have the latest obs version available right now i'm using obs at 30 okay but you also need to go to google and just type in multi stream plugin obs all right usually it's gonna be the first one this one multiple rtmp output but again i'm gonna leave a link down below where you can actually click directly to it it's gonna send you there and what you need to do is you can go ahead and click where it say go to download and it's gonna look like this something like in chinese but you're gonna go down here where it says assets if you're on mac you're gonna go ahead and actually click on this one but if you are on windows like me click obs multi rtmp blah blah blah, blah. you gonna go ahead and actually click on it once you're done it's gonna going to download and you're gonna get a little folder that will look like this one right here so you want to make sure you click to it follow instructions again windows may ask you to not authorize it that's not safe so don't worry about that it's a safe file i use it a lot of people use it just say run anywhere and you'll be okay just click on it and as you can see mine is already installed you're gonna go ahead and actually open obs so what i'm gonna do i have one already but the first time you're not gonna see it in obs so to find it you're gonna go to docs and then you're gonna go to multiple output it's gonna show up here so it's gonna be here okay once you click on it it's going to open a dock like this i have mine already docked here may open somewhere in obs just drop it anywhere you want but once you're done it's gonna be here so it's called multiple output so the first thing we need to set up the youtube part so we need to go to settings and then output because we're streaming to youtube first and then we're taking that stream and stream it to facebook so because we already have youtube connected and everything we don't want to bother it so we're gonna go to streaming and then we want to make sure all the settings are correct so want to make sure you go to audio encoder just copy all the settings that i have here so audio encoder co-audio acc video encoder if you have nvidia nvec or a dedicated graphics card use that if you don't have a dedicated graphics card you can use x265 which is the actual graphics card that comes with your computer for encoding settings go to rate control make sure it's on cbr bit rate make make sure it's on 10,000. all right and next you want to make sure keyframe interval make make sure it's actually at two seconds everything else you can simply copy what i have here and it should work so once you're done make sure you hit apply and then go to stream here your account should be connected to youtube if you don't know how to do it you're gonna go here click connect and obs is gonna ask you to log into your youtube account and kind of follow instructions and it's gonna connect no problem it's super super easy all right can have a video down below i will leave a link if you want to check it out super super easy make sure service is on youtube rtmps server is actually primary youtube in just server and everything and then for output make sure sample rate is actually 44.1 kilohertz channel stereo and then for video here make sure base canvas resolution is gonna be the resolution of your actual monitor so mine is 1920 by 1080 and your output scale is gonna be the actual resolution that you're gonna send to youtube all right so for now we're actually sending 1920 by 1080p okay and we're streaming fps in 30 frames per second that's important and then hit apply and then hit ok and then that's pretty much it for youtube so now we're going to set up for facebook so we're gonna go to multiple output here and then we're gonna go where it says add new target and then we can call it facebook 
page and then for service we're gonna need what's called the url and a stream key from facebook but before we do that that's gonna be our last step i'm gonna show you where to get the settings we're gonna go to video settings now for facebook we're gonna be streaming in 1080p and then we're gonna be streaming 1080p 30 frames per second now the problem we have here is that with facebook we don't have the same settings okay so with facebook if you want to stream in 1080p i'm gonna leave a document down below for you guys to use as a reference for video bit rate you can use between 3000 and 6000 kbps and in youtube we use 10,000, so we can use the same right if we're using the same i could just go ahead and say get from obs everything so for encoder we can use nvidia nvec h265 which is the same and then for scene which is the same as what we're using for YouTube encoding. We want to make sure I use get from OBS. So every time we choose a scene, if we wanted to, we can choose a specific scene. Like right now I have a scene called camera. If I wanted to stream only that scene for Facebook, I could do that, which is awesome. And then for resolution, this is where we're going to type in the resolution that we want. 1920 by 1080p. And then frame rate, we're going to keep it at 30 frames per second. CBR, rate control, we're going to leave it at cbr bit rate this is where we're gonna change it for facebook 1920 by 1080p streaming at 30 frames per second you can stream between 3 to 6k so we're gonna go ahead and actually use the max which is 6000 and then for interval uh keyframe usually two seconds that's why facebook text for preset here we can actually leave it as slow good quality tuning everything leave it the way it is and then until here everything should be left alone that's pretty much it the last step i'm gonna go ahead and hit okay but now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to facebook or my group okay and then this is my facebook uh, this is my facebook page and my group okay now i'm gonna go here where it says go live live video and then hit go live I'm gonna choose the streaming with the software and then I'm gonna need the streaming key. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this streaming key, go back to OBS, go to a uh, target here, which is Facebook page. Okay, click modify, go to streaming key, paste, make sure you hide your streaming key, hit okay. Now I'm gonna go back to my page, uh, go to advanced and then get the server URL, copy it and go back to OBS, modify Facebook page, and then go ahead and paste and then hit OK. So right now you should be able to go live. So now I'm ready to go live in YouTube. I'm going to go to manage broadcast, create a new broadcast. I'm going to call it broadcast test two and in description i'm gonna call it test two privacy you want to make sure you make it public again you can make it unlisted no problem category choose whatever applies to you made for kids mine is not made for kids thumbnail you want to make sure i have a thumbnail here you know i want to make sure you go ahead and click and upload a thumbnail and everything else should stay the way it is and then hit create broadcast and right now it's creating a broadcast for youtube okay because youtube is already connected with obs i don't have to go in the back end of youtube that's the beauty of connecting obs with youtube right so now what i want to show you guys before you decide all the bit rate and everything you want to make sure you go to google and type in internet speed test okay why are you doing that you want to make sure you check you have enough bandwidth to send to both youtube and facebook why because everything you're sending to youtube you actually encoding twice and you sending twice the bit rate so you send 10 to youtube and 6 to facebook so in total you're sending 16 and the rule is you want to check with your upload speed and make sure you don't go over half of what you have available so right now i have 55 megabits per second upload speed so i can use up 25 ish right no problem so right now all i need is 16 so i'm good to go right so it's important that you check your upload speed before you start multi streaming like this so now you can go ahead and hit start streaming now it's gonna send a stream to youtube right now we are streaming on youtube as you can see the signal is excellent you can send some messages from obs no problem and then the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go here where it says facebook page this is the one that we created i can hit start now it's gonna start streaming to facebook 
as well so if you want to know you can actually hit this share button here and then you're gonna copy the link to your stream and then i can go ahead and actually paste it into my browser and as you can see we are live on youtube and all the chats like all the messages that i was sending as you can see they're here no problem okay again it's muted but i can unmute and you're gonna see everything we are streaming in full hd no error messages or anything if i go back to facebook okay as you can see i have the signal coming in no problem and i have my preview available and everything okay but again my preview is not in full hd i don't know why usually it shows here oh there you go so now we have 720p but again this is just a preview all right because we're sending 1920 by 1080p okay as you see you can see the signal looks really really good okay so the next thing you need to do in facebook here you just need to go here where it says about your to kind of create a post i can just call it test and then call it test this is what's gonna be posted in your facebook page so just name it and then put a description hit save and then now you have this button that says go live as soon as you hit it you're gonna go live so as you can see we live on facebook and we live on youtube no problem and i go back to obs everything looks good no problem i don't have any error messages and i'm pushing everything the way it's supposed to be so as you can see on facebook i'm sending about five point something six four so it keeps changing depending on what's happening but the connection is excellent on youtube connection is excellent no problem guys this is how you do it as soon as you're done all you need to do is just go ahead and just hit stop streaming on youtube side and then you can go to facebook page as well just hit stop and everything is gonna be stopped and you are good to go as you can see everything was smooth no lag or anything and that's why the next tip is to go ahead and actually check out down below i have a new t-shirt it could be a t-shirt it could be a hoodie new merch that says no lag zone that means you are a streamer who makes good live streams with zero lag all right so you want to make sure you wear that t-shirt every time you stream so make sure to check it out guys but other than that i'm working on a video that's gonna show you how to build a streaming setup from your lighting your microphone your computer everything guys on the budget uh, if you are someone on the budget and as soon as the video is done guys it's gonna be super super helpful i'm gonna link it right here so make sure you check it out but other than that probably youtube is gonna suggest you another cool video of mine here to watch and i will see you guys next time take care